Welcome aboard, Arabella. After seven years of building, Steve finally gets his report card as boat surveyor Peter Hunt uses his years of experience combing through boats of all stripes to make sure Arabella is ready for all of Steve's adventurous plans. Kiva's got his life jacket on. Yep. Looking good, buddy. Can you keep an eye on him? Yeah. Tied up right here. We're getting some we're getting some flowers on the cilantro. We're negative three days from launch. <laughs> Peter had been to the boathouse to see Arabella for the first time about a month earlier. The main purpose of his visit then and here in Manapoiset was to provide a report to the insurance company so that Arabella would be covered for the trip motoring to Mystic for the wooden boat show. <laughs> On the way out into the bay to raise the sails for the first time, Peter went through the RPMs on the engine, taking speed over GPS from his own device. build boat you know the insurance companies are they're always very afraid of new builds because there's a lot of weird stuff going on out there yeah. is it built kind of to design and to best good or good standard marine uh, practices is mm -hmm. kind of what we're looking at i'm kind of more of the point that okay yeah you got to do this for insurance but it's more important for safety 
I think. Yeah. So I want to look at it and say, okay, this wiring, see how this is? That's going to be a problem. So don't do it that way. That's kind of what I'm more about. Mm -hmm. So, and what are you going to pay it with? Uh, interleucine compound. Oh, all right. Okay. And then we're going to so, paint it with total boat paint. Okay. So nothing, nothing, uh, um, no. Not nothing, breaking the mold there. Nothing <laughs> modern, no, yeah, no uh, 5200, anything like that. Nope. No, good, thank you. No. Good. The, the closest we've used is 4200 for betting certain things, sure. but there's no yeah. 52 in the boat. Okay, okay, good. Um, fastings are just silicon bronze, I would assume. Silicon bronze yeah. and copper rivets. Okay, all right. Yep. Yep, which we'll see more inside. So, the, so. she's uh, the garbered and rabbits are all screws. Then there's bronze okay. carriage bolts through okay. the lower planks through the bronze floors. Okay. And all then right. everything else is uh, copper rivets. Okay, nice. All right. So. And all the keel pretty... bolts and everything are all bronze, all silicon bronze. Okay, all right. Actually, well, we're in the running gear department, so obviously everything's new, so. Yeah. Hey, I like these. Yeah, they're a prop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You've, you've um, spliced all your planks and not doing butt blocks? They're all 12 to 1 glued scarves oh. uh, with the um, Total Boat Flex Epox, which is the equivalent of G-Flex. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Same thing with all the graving pieces. Okay. All right. Yeah. Like, so. so you milled all this planking from your property? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, most of the boat came from the property. <laughs> Stop waters. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Um, so, Keska, say what? What? Uh, What's going on? What here? is? What, what is? Yeah. Yep. So, is it going to be your? It's not ah, quite finished. okay. Yep. I was wondering what you were going to. So, where's our water line? Yeah. Okay. So this guy goes. So like, you're going to get that welded, welded to that. Yep. Okay. And then this will go up for the bobstay. Okay. And this will be for the anchor pennant. Okay. So these bolts are going to remain? Yep. Then. Okay. Yep. This one will... Um, yeah, what are you going to do with that? <laughs> like, oh. Peen over and we can also put, put a little fair a little thing. thing in front yeah. of it so it doesn't catch all the weeds. Oh, yeah. And then these go through the plate, through the stem, and through the bronze floors. Nice. Okay. So this should be pretty solid. Yeah. Okay. Are you going to continue anything down? Yep. That's what that plate there is for. Ah, okay. All right. Yep. So you'll have a full shoe right down. Yeah. The, to... the plate will come to here. Okay. And then this is the sacrificial worm the shoe. The worm shoe. Down okay. to the lead. Yep. Okay. So starting at, so bowsprit, how, how are you, how are you doing? A, is a gammon iron going over the top? Yep, or what? exactly. Okay, so pretty traditional then. Yeah, half okay. inch bronze here, okay. bolted in across the top, All right. tang okay. on it for the um, stasis. Okay. Any um, protection? I mean, typically we'll put a piece of copper or lead over and then the bowsprit on top because yeah. that's a water trap. Yeah, and then the bowsprit, I'm going to float it on the deck about an inch, inch and a half. Oh, nice. So okay. there'll be a little oh, pad here perfect. that it sits on. Okay. And then we'll do Got a it. bronze bracket tying it into the Samson post. Okay. And then that will float over the big king plank. Good. Okay, so stopping lot, good. You traditional. Thank you. <laughs> uh, you know, I am, I, the more and more I do, uh, so did you consider putting a dripless in or did you? No. No, it was always traditional. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I'd rather something that leaks a little bit than fails catastrophically. Yes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, and besides what's on a wooden boat, you really do want a little wheat. You want some water in your bilge, <laughs> you know, it's like, so all type A hoses. Uh, let's make sure they are type A, yes, okay, good, thank you. What is your lightning, <laughs> how do you ground, you know, wooden boats for lightning? But uh, there's a number of different ways, so what is your plan, what do you... Everything even... that I've read about that has different thoughts and opinions yeah. about, like, attracting the lightning and giving it a path, or right. not attracting the lightning. <laughs> um, but we have outside chain plates, Yes. Um, which okay. go to galvanized wire. Right. Which goes up to the mast. Okay. All so right. yeah. that do the chain would... plates go below the water line? They do. Oh. Yeah. Then you get a path. Yeah. You're fine. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we just right. need to make sure that we've got some jump that goes past the dead eyes. But that's yeah. not oh. a big deal. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just put a jumper. 
Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. And if you're going up to northern latitudes, it's not so critical. Yeah. No, I hate the heat, and the southern is very bad for the boat. Yeah. So. So yeah. yeah so I'm no. not worried about it. Oh, nice. Um, the main this panel and this panel are run through this battery protect device. Okay. Which is a, essentially just a low voltage cutoff, so that you okay. can cut. This will automatically protect the battery, like. Stop oh, discharging right. the that's lithium. right, because you can't drop them below exactly. a certain, yeah, I forgot about but that. But leaving okay. the navigation panel. Uh, active, energized. so you don't yeah. get into trouble. Exactly. Okay. All right. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Okay. So, obviously, new. Yeah. <laughs> the, you know, okay. Didn't say it was salvage that from Victoria. No. no. <laughs> All right. So, your floor, your keel bolts are tied into your floor timbers. <clears throat> Bronze floors? Yeah. Yeah, most of them are. Most of them are. Okay. So that's your gray water tank? Yep. Okay, so everybody goes into the gray water and then you pump it overboard. Yep. Okay. 95 gallons of fresh water. So this is kind of like a day tank. In exactly. A sense. Okay. Yep. They all gravity feed to that and then okay. that's where our pickups are. Good. Okay. All right. PEX tubing. Oh, nice. Okay. So you made these little brackets and you bolted it onto the shelf. Yep. Yeah. And, and then, then they're also came into they're that. also screwed in the back with a number well, a four inch eighteen screw through the shelf and into the clamp. Okay. Yeah, because right. I can't see how far in. Yeah. So, okay. Yeah, you can't see them from here. Yeah, and there's a there's a tie rod at every single short beam. Okay. Yeah. Look at look at this crap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we just installed those recently. <laughs> Hard to, hard to, it's definitely the most comfortable grab. We spent like a day. Oh, feeling yeah. It yeah. I mean, look at that. You can just the, like, you can really yeah. It. Oh. All cherry. Yeah, good stuff. So, this is the beam that will carry the on deck traveler. Oh, all right. Okay. So, you double. So, the knee, and then yeah. this side doesn't have a knee, but it's got the bulkhead. Got the bulkhead. Okay. So, you're just laminating the bulkhead up out of. Yeah, oak and cedar and epoxy, okay. homemade plywood. Okay. So you ran those grabs everywhere then? Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, blemish on the finish there. It's well, like, that, so that's where the exhaust for this wood For the wood stove is going to end up going eventually. Oh, okay. So that's going to, yeah. Okay, yep. all right. I like the, uh, the coloring. It's just subtle, you know. Yeah, it works really well. You'll, you'll have full fire extinguisher systems. Fire yeah, extinguishers, yeah. CO2 detectors, propane sniffer, oh, for okay. sure. Oh, where is your propane going to be? So the propane is going to be, tank is going to be mounted right on over here oh. inside a locker okay. that vents outside the combing. Okay, good. Um, and then you'll be able to reach through here and actually physically shut off the propane tank. Okay. Um, Don't you need to be able to reach the propane shut off from the... Are you going to have a... A remote solenoid as well? Yes. Or yep. You are? Okay, yep. all right. For sure. Okay. So, so the boots that, and suspenders. The, okay, <laughs> all right. Belts and okay. suspenders. Yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just thinking about what you need for code. But yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah. The factory made swaged propane hoses. Okay. Yep. No, no hose clamps. Nope. Okay. Yeah. So, and, and a pressure gauge on your tank. Yep. Okay. Yeah. I think you got it. And then the solenoid and then a shut off switch down inside. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, will the workbench stay here as part yep. of this? This is this is part of the design. Okay, yep. so you you could use it as a little bit of a it's a bunk as a sea berth and chart to, table. Okay, workbench just a yep. general all purpose. Okay, tank is for the diesel heater. Diesel heater, just sitting yep. there. It's just that's not where it lives. Yeah. Oh, right. it's going to get mounted um, below deck on the bulkhead in the four peak, just oh. on the other side of the diesel heater. Okay, and then it'll get plumbed through. It'll have a deck fill and then Got just it. just like the okay. the diesel. Tank. So it's so it's it's separate from. Yeah, it won't be plumbed. It won't to those. be plumbed at all. No. Okay, because yeah. that thing burns okay. one gallon a day on high. Yeah, and it's a three gallon tank. So I'll just have like a five gallon jerry, jerry can on deck and it, top okay. it up as we need it. Yeah. Look at this. Look at this build stream. Uh, yeah. You're going where this ice. I can see that. Now there's some writing up in here. Yeah. So uh, we had fans sign two of the planks. Okay. That got tucked up behind the clamp in the shelf. Yeah. So those are all people's signatures. Hey, yeah, little, little hidden navigation 
station there. Good. Yeah. Uh, and then we so are the we are basement. putting in AIS. We're just it's been back ordered for a year now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. So you'll have full full modern electronics oh, yeah. then. Yeah. yeah. The only yeah. thing we don't have is um self is a uh, autopilot. Really? But we have everything else. Okay. Well, you want to, you want to put a wind vane. Put a wind vane on. Oh. Yeah. Okay. All right. I was going to say why why no electrical autopilot just because of complications, noise, battery drain. Okay. All right. All those so reasons. just put a good wind vane yeah. on it. Okay. All right. So so that's got to be from Victoria the as boom well. Boom gals are from Victoria. Yeah. Okay. And then the the mizzen travelers from Victoria. Okay. Yeah. Pearl girl, well, at least she's got carrying on yeah. in some manner. Yeah, best, best, best thing we could have. Yeah. Um, and then you're asking about hoses. Yeah, as long as it's, you know, the, 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 don't use cheap hose. Yeah, yeah no, so, yeah. definitely but no, don't, I, don't I, use cheap hose. I don't use cheap anything, cheap. Yeah. anything <laughs> on this boat so far. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah, so. And, and it, from, um, Victoria? Yeah, we're not so. going to use it though. Oh, okay. Yeah, what are you going to do for traditional gaff? Uh, no. So Robbie Doyle's got the gaff on the track with the sail. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. But when Robbie Doyle was very adamant that was the way to go, and he ran it all by Harkin, and they mm. said it would all go. So okay. All right. Gonna, we'll see how it stands see up. How it see how it stands up when you're off Greenland and it's yeah. blowing 68. And we talked to Robbie about all that. Yeah. He was real confident. Okay. I feel like he would know. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> good. Good. There's not much load on the gas. I'm 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 hugely impressed. Oh, I thank mean, this you. is just 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 a great a great job. Um, really well done. Um, great forethought and just a great project. It's jobs like this that I find fascinating and really kind of keep me going. Um, I no longer survey. Um, power boats, for the most part, um, particularly gas engine power boats. I just don't do those. A nice down easter, yeah. you know, diesel powered, something like that, fine. Uh, but I'm a sailor, and so you know, I, I certainly prefer to do sailboats. But if I do another Catalina 30, you know, fiberglass, you know, it's like, <laughs> kind of like, um, you know, when you get the boat down to Mattapoisett, yep. you know, we'll we'll document it more from an official point of view, and, and yeah, write up a, a a thing. But this is, uh, I, I just don't see anything that says. Uh, you're doing, you're doing thing right. You know, you're doing anything very right. Oh, that's great yeah. to hear. <laughs> so, yeah, this is the uh, first time for most of us. Yeah. In the frenzy of work that went into the last weeks before launch, a few comments pointed out that they missed the bowsprit going on. And though much of the work that Steve did on this part of the boat happened off-camera, I did find this bit on the cutting room floor. As this video goes live, work is still being done on the sailing rig, so there will certainly be a more comprehensive video coming soon that goes over the standing and running rigging and how it all works. Okay, we're in the socket. Hey, are we far enough back that we're not going to come out? Yep. yep. Okay. It's all Great. the way seated. Thank you. Can I sit on it? Take no, it's not going to go anywhere. It's a little scary, but I think it'll stay. Yeah. Alright, that's tight. That's not going to go anywhere. Great. Cool. I got to drill this bronze piece back there, put the bob stay on, put the whiskers back on. Yeah. Yep. Sweet. Bunch to do.
come a long way, my friends. You sure have. Come a long way. <laughs> <laughs> That's normal. Yeah, I like, I like a faster for years, Steve has turned down many offers to sail, saying the first time would be on his own boat. And he didn't really want to do it for the first time for the purposes of insurance either. So the compromise was to leave the motor running while Peter took a look with the sails up. So it's definitely not sailing. Steve has had enough milestones for one month already. Here the sails going up for the first time to no fanfare whatsoever. Too much bad intention. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> KP, she did a little bit back there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! Uh, We're moving. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> but honestly, the sails look incredible. The sails look like the sail shape is is the best sail shape I've ever seen. <laughs> Hey you guys, we helped build this boat. We did. And now it's it just sailed a little bit. We still had the motor on, but the prop wasn't spinning, so it doesn't count. 
for Steve. Well, these sails look so poorly furled. This is embarrassing. Well, we're getting good footage of it. Hey, wait, give me, shoot me. Action. Action. Yes, we're aware that the sails could be neater. Uh, we are short of sail ties, so if anybody has a hookup and can send us like 20 sail ties, we would really appreciate it. Uh, the running out numbers were really good. 1500 RPM, 4.3 knots, 1700 RPM, 4.5. 1900 knots 5.1 or 2000 rpm 5.6 we ran her up to 23 and got 6.2 uh, we briefly brought the throttle up to full which is about 2800 but we didn't check speed at that point i'll check it on the other thing um, thermostat the outside of the thermostat shoots at 165 which means there's probably a 170 thermostat in there the oil filter shoots 168 so it kind of confirms that that'll run just a little higher. Um, it's 168 going into the heat exchanger and 129 coming out. So the drop across the heat exchanger is really good. Injectors are shooting 139, 141, 142, so they're nice and even. And the stuffing box is the problem. We're running at 144 plus degrees on the stuffing box. Really wants to be about 10 over seawater temperature. So seawater right now is 65, so it should be about 75. So, uh, we gotta get that. Yeah, she's gonna bring that down. Alternator output right now, 1337. Um, <laughs> transmission shot at one, I didn't write it down, but it was within spec anyway. So. Well, what's it supposed to be? Um, it'll change a little when you're running yeah. it. Right now, it's, I think it was around 112, 113. Okay. We haven't been running so it. Should that be pretty, it should be pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. Other than the stuffing box, how do you feel about what you've seen today? Oh, running great. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> New build boat, right out of the box. You know, the way the engine's running, the way the rig is going, I'm impressed. <laughs> this is really good. This is just a great thing. Awesome. I buy all my licenses every year, but I don't always get a salt water. It's pretty hot, isn't it? Yeah. Nice. Here's a little thing. Maybe a little bit faster drift than normal for now. Yeah. There wouldn't be wind in these sails without the steadfast support of our Patreon members. Thanks for all of your contributions that make this journey and the videos of it possible. In next Friday's video, after Arabella makes a boat show debut in Mystic, Connecticut, our friends at Total Boat hooked us up with a safe mooring for a couple of weeks to finish up work on the sails and a bunch of other things that were sidelined to make the launch date. If you have any guesses where that mooring is based on the shot here, put your guesses in the comments. After that, you can like the video and subscribe to the channel and come back next week to find out where Arabella is going next. <laughs>